I'm Phantasmal Fawn, and this is going to be a tutorial on this sort of albino fawn um, inspired makeup. As far as clothing and jewelry go, you could wear a lot of different things um, to suit the fawn aesthetic, but I went with this dress, which I think it looks kind of like, it's very natural looking, I think. Um, it's got these like strings, which I thought, I don't know, I thought they fit. And then a lot of like brass or copper jewelry, like I have here, I'll just, yeah. And I've got a few rings, just, I don't know. I thought brass, copper, maybe a little bit of silver um, complemented this whole thing very well, but you can wear anything you want with it. Let me know if you want to see more things like this or something different, if there's a specific character that you want me to try and do makeup for. I think, I, I don't know, I think I have kind of a versatile face so I can do a lot of people. Uh, yeah, let me know, and I hope that you get good tips from this video, or at least enjoy watching it. Alright. I'm starting off with Maybelline's Fit Me Foundation, and since I am super pale, I'm just using my regular everyday foundation color. If you are darker than I am, you might want to go a couple shades lighter for the albino effect. I'm using my knockoff beauty blender, but it doesn't really matter if you use a brush or your fingers instead. Just don't forget your neck and you'll be fine. I'm setting my foundation with a big fluffy brush and NYX's HD Finishing Powder. It's in white to kind of lighten up my whole face just a little bit more. Next I am going back and putting foundation on my lips even though I skipped them before to take away the pink color. I'm using a peachy blush by NYX and applying it where you would normally apply blush and then a little bit below the eyes also, where you would usually see brown on regular font makeup. Taking a very small brush, I am using the same blush again in place of eyeshadow on my lids. Make sure the color is boldest nearest to your eye and then gradiates out as it reaches your brow bone. Taking an even tinier brush, I'm doing the same step again but underneath my eye this time. If you want, you can use more than one shade of pink or even red near the base, but I wanted to keep it simple for this. And just do the other eye, same way. Now I'm using a white cream paint and a small flat brush to fill in my eyebrows. Um, I did not cover them beforehand, I didn't use the um, glue stick and concealer method because I never, I never find that it looks really good on me, but if you can make that work for you, I would absolutely recommend it. Um, you can use a small angled brush if you want a sharper, more defined brow. But I wanted to keep this looking as natural as possible, so I'm just drawing over top of my natural brows instead. I'm taking the same blush from before and going in on my nose to create a more deer-like shape. It's important for the step that you do not blend and make as hard an edge as possible. Going in with a little more blush. Next I'm taking a kind of tan brownish eyeshadow and going over just the blush on my cheeks to give them a slightly different color than the rest of the blush on my face. This is just a white eyeliner pencil, I think it's from NYX. I'm using it on my waterline to make my eyes look bigger. Here I decided my nose wasn't quite defined enough, so I'm drawing a line on the top and the sides with a Ben Nye brow pencil. Using the rounded end of a small paintbrush, I am dipping that in my um, cream paint and making lots of tiny little freckles in varying sizes to keep them looking natural. I put a bit more blush on the bridge of my nose going into my forehead and then dropped my hairbrush into my cream paint. You know, whatever, things happen. And then I added in the rest of my freckles.
I'm concentrating the freckles on the bridge of my nose because I find that it makes them look a little more natural. Using the proper end of the brush this time, I am painting my eyelashes with the white cream paint. You can paint a pair of false lashes like this beforehand and then apply them. It will give you a much fuller and overall nicer look, but I was very lazy and I did not. I would not recommend using a water activated paint for this step as it first of all won't stick to your lashes and create a different color, but it will also get into your waterline and probably your eyes, which is not fun at all. I've tried lining my eyes with water activated paint before. I don't know why, it doesn't work. Now I'm all done with the makeup, so I am putting on my wig cap and then this nice silvery wig that I thought fit the fawn look very well. If you have a white, a silver, or maybe a peachy pink wig, I would recommend using that for this, but your natural hair will look just fine too. I'm adding a flower crown because I thought it looked nice, and if you have those little deer antlers, I would definitely recommend those, but sadly I have none. And there we go, we are all done! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any other suggestions for me, please let me know!